I just picked up Judge Dredd on DVD. It sells for 20 bucks on eBay and I only paid a dollar for it in my local thrift store. This should make me about $12 worth of profit and we're trying to find stuff like this in this video today, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing really well. Trip to the thrift Thursday morning. We're back for yet another week. And look, I'm not looking my Hollywood best today. I'm feeling a little bit like Tom Hanks out of the movie Castaway. But uh, we are pushing through. I've actually developed shingles over the last week, and it's a really painful, horrendously looking uh, virus, basically. And I've, I'm on the right medication now. I thought in last week's episode that I had a spider bite, but turns out that it is shingles that we're dealing with. I'm going to try and sit and film like this today, so you don't need to put up with it. Let's dive into the first op shop. Alrighty guys, first item of the day. I've got a pair of Carhartt jeans here. I'm pretty sure Kanye West wore them once and they became a really popular brand to be reselling. But for me, I put this up to my Instagram audience because I wasn't really sure whether or not they were worth going ahead with the purchase. $10 was the cost. We've got a uh, Bronco pant, 34 waist, 34 length. Let me know in the comments if you would have picked those ones up. Now, video games, I'm, I'm typically picking out any video game that's worth $20 or more because I'm often buying these games in the thrift for around about $5 and a little tip for you there don't buy anything less than that unless you want to go ahead and bundle them with some video game consoles which I am doing quite a bit of with some success lately but these games that you're seeing here none of them were comping up to be more than about 12 to 15 dollars so at an eight dollar purchase price on these games here couldn't go ahead with the purchase uh, I've also got this as well now BBC in general is something that I look for when I'm scanning for DVDs we've got Judge John Deed here I've got seasons one to three TV shows always go really well on this occasion, this is worth about $35, and they had a $15 price tag on it in this op shop. So again, I did have to leave it behind. But DVDs are a great category. Um, I've also got these as well. Now, believe it or not, guys, I've paid $2.50 in the op shop for these. An unbelievable grab here. Um, these are the Nike Pegasus 36s, and I've generally sold them for about 60 bucks. So that's a ripping grab off just the $2.50. And another brand that I love to always pick up when I see it, we've got Ruka RVCA, size medium there, $2.00. You can't go wrong. So the Carhartt Bronco pants to kick off the day. I'll put this to you guys in the Instagram viewer poll question and you guys said to go ahead and pick them up. And look, I did end up buying them for $10, a fairly decent purchase price. I should be able to, per the comps on eBay, turn them into about $40 to $50. But the interesting with this one is that there weren't too many comps on eBay for that brand. And I always thought that Carhartt was a bolo brand, but I guess the supply is quite limited here in Australia. Um, let me know in the comments below if you've sold the brand Carhartt yourself, um, because I know it's big in the States, but maybe not here in Australia. Hard not to be excited when you find the Michael Jordan Ultimate Jordan Collection DVD set here. This was only $8. It was in pre-owned condition, but all the discs were in like new condition. So no real comps on eBay for this one, but I just think it'll move relatively quickly. So I've gone ahead and picked that up. I've also got Dance Mums. Now this was $9, but it was brand new and sealed. And there was a comp on eBay brand new for a best offer of 70. So I'm gonna shoot for about $40 to $50 on that. I think it was an inflated $70 on that one. Uh, we've got the Ralph Lauren uh, cargo shorts here. Now I typically sell these for about $30. Should clean up okay in a bit of a wash. Um, they were a 42 waist, which I don't mind buying the bigger size. This one, RBCA, look, it actually may be for the personal. It's a size extra large. It fits me perfectly, um, so I might be holding on to that one, but that was only $4. And then I've also got this one as well for $8. Size large, we've got a really nice Levi Strauss checkered button-up shirt there. So that one should turn into about $35 to $40 on eBay because it was in pretty much light new condition. Not bad on the clothing. Jumped into the shoe, uh, shoe section here. We've got these for $20 in the end, but they are Gore-Tex. And you guys know from watching this channel that Gore-Tex typically does well. I found the exact match, goes for about 80 bucks. So really happy to find these. I don't think they've been worn. They were that new. Um, also found a second pair. These had been worn a couple of times, but I would rate the condition a nine and a half out of 10. So these were Gore-Tex as well, Echo brand. Um, look, I'm just gonna have a go at these. Never sold the Echo brand before in a hiking boot. So if I can get $80 a piece on those, that'd be fantastic. And then I found the Asics Gel Cumulus 18 women's running shoes, US six and a half, purple and pink. Thanks very much. I'll be taking them away with me for $10. They should pretty comfortably turn into about 60. Not too bad. Guys, we've just had an absolutely huge collect in Opshot run number two. I'm gonna save it until the end of the video. So stick around for that. Let's keep pushing on to Opshot run number three. 
If there was ever a slogan for this YouTube channel, it would be to never sleep on hats. I absolutely love picking these things up. A $5 purchase here on the Von Zipper eyewear hat. Might be actually keeping this one for the personal though. It just looked very cool. Now, these were an Instagram viewer poll question. We've got the Nike TNs, and they can go for some ridiculous money, $25 of a purchase price. They were a little bit cut up, though. They were a little bit old, and uh, I just wasn't sure if they were even genuine uh, Nike TNs. So I wasn't sure. Put it up on Instagram. Let me know your thoughts in the comments if you would have picked up those. But they weren't the only shoes that I found in this little shoe bin. We've got the Adidas Continental 80s here. They should go for about $75, an awesome shoe and a good colorway. I've also got the Zoom Rival Waffle here in the Nike shoes. They should actually go for more like $50. I've sold them in the past. And then we've also got the Merrells here as well. Just a really plain stealth black look. $20 on those. I'm happy to pay them for the Merrell brand. And then these are the Adidas Bussinets. Uh, we've got the originals here. They should go for about $75. So again, I'm happy to pay $20. And then I've also got the Adidas Marathon X 5923s. So some low comps on eBay. I think I might be able to beat that and get about 50 or 60. So these ones right here, the Concave Halo Plus footy boots for $10. Took a stab on those. They're absolutely horrendous on eBay. Should never have bought them. And then we've got some Merrill sandals here as well. They should convert into about 40 bucks. So ended up paying 15 for those. Uh, these ones here as well, the Reef shoes, oh, they're, look, they're basically brand new, but I had no confidence in the Reef brand. You guys did though. You said to go ahead and cop them, and I think that was based on the fact they were only $5. But considering I've bought so many shoes and I've got a hat here as well, I ended up passing on the Reef shoes. Nike TNs for Op Shop Run number three. Um, look, they were, they are a really good shoe. If you can find the Nike TNs in good condition, always pick them up because the comps on eBay are pretty ridiculous. However, these are in a, a six out of 10 condition and they were 25 bucks. So look, I don't even know what the resale value would have been. It would have been more the sweat equity of how much time I would have had to have put into cleaning up those shoes that I really just couldn't be bothered with. You guys said to drop them. I've got to agree with you. Pretty much a good decision, I think, all round. Oh, guys, not a great start to this op shop run. We've got DVDs going for $8 a piece. What is happening here in this op shop? I was quickly on my way out, but I did spy this Columbia Windbreaker jacket. Now, these typically go on to sell for around about $70 to $80 for me on eBay. It's something that I really do love to pick up. I really like the colorway on this. It was a size 2XL as well. Columbia, a really great brand. So this was something I was definitely looking to pick up, but uh, I had a quick look at the price tag and we're talking $42 for a windbreaker jacket out of a thrift store. No thank you. I've uh, got the RM Williams as well, the Stockyard. We've got the striped short sleeve shirt. Now these Stockyard RM Williams go for about $35 to $40 in pre-owned condition on eBay. So I was happy to go ahead and make the $7 purchase on those. Something you can always rely on at the end of the day if you're really struggling for items is the DVD wall and I've been able to pull out two in a very quick space of time. We've got Get Smart Season 1 and we've also got Get Smart Season 5 to end the day. If you've been a part of this channel for a little bit, you'll know on a Thursday with these trips to the thrift videos that I stick the best item right at the end of the video to reward you guys for staying through to the very end. And the one that I've got for you today are these. I've got the On Clouds, and they're a really, really good brand of running shoe to be finding, but they are really uncommon as well. So I was absolutely stoked when I found these, even more so when I found them at the Lifeline for just eight bucks. Um, look, these are just such a good pair of shoes, guys. On Clouds, I'm typically selling for about $100 on eBay. So this should make me about 80 bucks profit. And because they're so tough to find, I should be able to sell them in a pretty quick space of time as well. We've got a women's US six and a half here. If you don't know the brand, that's the logo of it. Make sure you're looking out for it next time you're in the thrift. Appreciate you being here, guys, my 30% clubbers. Hopefully you enjoyed that little winner at the end there. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video as well. Remember to like, remember to subscribe. Thanks for putting up with the face. We'll see you soon.